Culturally, like someone, I would say it's a gift. It's not something that everyone gets, especially me, because I mean I wasn't born here, so I wasn't a bicultural first. But when you become bicultural, uh, you gain a lot of uh, new. Please stay in this direction. Uh, just a quick reminder for all third and fourth block economic students, you'll be going to a lunch today and then reporting to your testing location after a lunch. Thank you. Um, that sounded like an important announcement. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, like I was saying... Okay. Oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, like I was saying, in my culture, you, you get a lot, a lot of uh, benefits, especially because um, you become more involved with your own culture. Like when I be, when I came here before, I came here. I really think uh, was into the politics or the culture that, that was in Mexico. But when I came here and I got to make new friends that came from other parts of Mexico, I got to learn uh, the different culture that that are in, within like Mexico. That came from another state that they live better. They speak differently, or even some people speak dialect. And I didn't know that, what well, was dialed at first, I didn't know that there were different languages in Mexico. So you really gain a lot of experiences and that helps you a lot as a person because you uh, see the world in a different uh, point of view. And that helps you to uh, communicate with others, help other people, and especially really get to know uh, about yourself and, and learn about uh, other countries. So, Awesome. So, how do you balance um, sort of living within in the U.S. and having being surrounded by American culture with your heritage and your Mexican culture? How do you sort of live within those two and balance those two? Um. Well, uh, American and American. Well, I think that. Uh, um, most of all, um, I really like, I'm really proud of being Mexican because they have uh, teached me a lot, especially uh, because of my family in Mexico and I think most of the Latino uh, country, they always teach you that family comes first. That, that's why it's something that I always have in my mind. Everything that I do, it motivates me for, for my family motivates me to do what, what I want to do. And uh, everything that they have lost, like, when I came here, I left my family behind. I left my grandma, my uncles, or my grandpa, and I didn't have the time to uh, to spend time with them, especially with my grandma who uh, passed away last year. That motivates me to uh, all the time that I lost with her uh, to do something that I want. First of all, I want to go to college, uh, get a major in marketing, so I can uh, work for a big company or something, maybe open my own business. That way I can tell uh, my dad and my, my mom to stop working because my dad started working when he was. One second. Uh, like I was saying, my dad started working when he was seven years old, so he, he has been working for a very long time. And I want to be able one day to uh, go up to him and tell him that he can start working and that I will take care of him. And also I want to, uh, like I say, get a good job so I can help my my uh, younger sister. She's only three years old. Uh, I can help her to go to college and make her a new life. And also to make, to have myself a better life. And one day I want to open a, on a restaurant because I work in the kitchen and I kind of like uh, cooking. So I want to open a restaurant in Mexico, especially because I want to help the economy. Uh, I want to create jobs for people that, that really need them, you know, for people that they actually have everything and they really you know, appreciate what they have. So that's one of my goals that I have. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Th
Latino coming from another country, or you have, you have family that came from another country, you know, uh, you have some experiences. Like Paola was saying, she came from another country, she left her parents, or people who come from Brazil know that the economy is not really good, or even for Colombia, that they're going kind of like into a war right now, or people who come from Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala who have uh, problems with gangs, and um, a lot of violations on it. We see the, uh, the world different and we actually, uh, we give everything onto what we do so we can uh, change that. And being my coach, that are other things that motivates me to, uh, because I want to change the, uh, the stereotypes that they have about us on um, on the Latinos, all the pastors that they say that we all, uh, like we're dropouts or we really don't care about school that we just come here to work and we really don't, don't care about anything i want to change that and actually do that uh to something better yeah you mentioned that in your your response you said that you know you want to change the stereotypes that you have faced? Um, so can you talk to us about that? So you mentioned um, about uh, the dropout rate, that kind of thing. What are some of the other difficulties that you've faced with stereotypes? Uh, when I came, uh, I came here when I was 12 years old. So that's when that time of fun with uh, the kids start to uh, playing around with other kids and they start to bully or saying things about other people. So when I came here, uh, as soon as they knew, knew that I didn't speak English, they start saying that uh, I wasn't smart or they, uh, that I was just wanting to go to school just to uh, make friends and that's it. I think that's the one that destroyed but the stereotype that I face the most and that, that affected me in a way that I lost my confidence. Before I came here in Mexico, I would talk to anyone with no problems. I would, I would turn in front of the whole school, which I did one time. And now it's kind of hard for me to express myself, especially like right now. So uh, I think the, those stereotypes that I have faced and that most of the people face um, are the ones that really affect us as Latinos because the thing that only one person does, it will affect the whole community. So I think that us as being Latinos, we have responsibility to uh, to be someone uh, good in this, uh, in this country because we only not represent ourselves, now we represent our country in other countries that are like that they speak Spanish or the are Latinos. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for First of all, on the brand, um, that design of it has to be like really good. So, first of all, you're gonna you become interesting with the uh, with the product. Then you see if uh, the product is actually is gonna help you some way. But what I really look into a brand and what I think that most of the brands has to need is to, is to find a way to um, to make it to target it to other people not only to a certain group. So, uh, hold on a second. Don't worry. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, like, it has to be not only for one group, it has to be like for everyone. Yeah, so let's um, so 
TV anymore, and a lot of teens really don't do that. They're more on social media right now, and what I really mm -hmm. think that it will connect them to a uh, trade brand is like using like maybe Facebook people or right now like YouTubers is something that is really helping a lot of companies because like um, they will do anything that famous people do. That's something that it has happened. Like before they used to, and like in television, they would use like famous people to buy like certain product. And I think that that will help a brand to communicate with teams, like use YouTubers or maybe just people who, um, who are like influencers. Yeah, like in that internet right now. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, so what about from like a uh, cultural perspective or a content perspective? Do you expect that the brand will connect with your culture, your interests, and your uh, lifestyle? So uh, the brand will, uh, I mean, it depends what they use, especially if they use like, I don't know if I'm sorry, like Enrique Iglesias or uh, Prince Royce or someone like that, it will definitely connect with the Latinos. And also like, or the events like right now Coca-Cola is doing the, doing the uh, heritage of uh, Latinos that will, that will make uh, the Latinos closer to, to that brand. Okay, awesome. So it's awesome we're doing it. Yes, I said we're only missing Oscar. He, um, you know, he had this uh, field trip uh, 